In this video, we'll be looking at an example of a force being applied upward at an angle. So the problem says on a level frictionless surface that tells us we don't need to account for friction, Azumi pushes on a 20.4 kilogram crate with a force of 61.2 newtons at an angle of 39 degrees above the horizontal. What is the acceleration? And what is the normal force being applied on the crate? So we're asked to find two different things. So this is a Newton's second law problem. Let's start by defining our coordinate system, which we should be doing every time at the start. I'm going to have up be the positive y direction and to the right be the positive x direction. So that's done. Our next step is we need to choose what our system is. So we are looking for the acceleration of the crate and the normal for acting on the crate. So we're dealing with forces acting on the crate. So our system must be the crate. Once we've defined our system, now we can draw a free body diagram for this system. So let's start by putting our dot at the center to represent the crate. We'll start with the non-contact forces, which is the force due to gravity. And so that's pointing downwards. And that is the weight. And so that's equal to mg. And we know the mass. That's equal to 20.4 kilograms. And then G is 9.8 meters per second squared. And we don't have a negative sign here because the direction of the vector tells us that it is negative. So we, if we put a negative sign here, we would be double counting. So that is why you just choose the magnitude of G. And so multiplying that through, you get a weight force of 200 newtons for the crate. So the next force we're gonna look at is the applied force from a zoomy pushing on the crate. So that's at an angle and that's pointing towards the right. So we'll angle this force, we'll angle this force up and to the right. And that's being applied at an angle of 39 degrees above the horizontal. So that's F zoomy. And that's equal to, we're told, 61.2 newtons. And notice how I made this smaller, the magnitude or the length of the vector smaller than the weight. So the weight's 200 newtons, and this is 60 newtons. So you want to make sure that the relative magnitudes are in line. One thing that we can do is we can break this vector up into components. So we can... At the start, we can go along the x direction, and then head to tail, we can go along the y direction and break this vector up into f azumi x and f azumi y. And we can use our trig relations to figure out what those values are. So f a x is equal to 61.2 newtons times it's the adjacent so cosine of 39 degrees and then f a sub y is equal to 61.2 newtons it's the opposite so sine of 39 degrees so plugging into your calculator, you'll find an X component of 47.6 newtons and a Y component of the applied force, 38.5 newtons. So now we have one more force to deal with, and that's the normal force that's being applied to the crate by the floor. And so we know that the cart's not moving up and down in the Y direction, so the acceleration must be zero. Since we have an applied force by Azumi, part of it's in the y direction, 
the normal force is not going to be equal to the weight force in this case. We know that the sum of the component in the y direction by a zoomy and the normal force should equal the weight force so that the total equals zero. So we need to make sure we draw the magnitude or the length of our vector not equal to the weight force but a little less so that the normal force component and the y component of the force by a zoomy add together to balance out the weight force. So let's fill in what we were asked to find. We were asked to find the acceleration of the crate. And since the acceleration in the y direction is zero, we expect this to just be a positive x. That's going to have units of meters per second squared. And then we're asked to find the normal force of the crate, F sub n. And that's going to be pointing in the positive y direction. It's going to have units of newtons. And so now we plan our solution. To be able to solve for acceleration of the crate, we need to use Newton's laws. And so we'll sum the forces in the x direction, and that's equal to the mass times the acceleration in the x direction. And then to be able to find the normal force acting on the crate, we'll sum the forces in the y direction, which is equal to mass times the acceleration in the y direction. So to find the acceleration, we're going to start by summing the forces in the x direction using Newton's second law. And when you substitute everything in, because we know the x component of the applied force, and we know the mass, we can solve for acceleration. And we find the acceleration in the x direction is equal to 2.33 meters per second squared to the right. Now we know that the acceleration in the y direction is zero. So the total acceleration A is equal to the acceleration in the x direction, which is equal to positive 2.33 meters per second squared. And so this is very similar to what we are dealing with with velocity in 2D kinematics, where you can have a combination of acceleration in the x and the acceleration in the y um, for any given problem. So keep in mind that you may have to take the square of each component and then the square root to find the magnitude of acceleration. But for this case, the acceleration in the y was zero, so the only acceleration total is in the x direction. Now the next step was to find the normal force, the magnitude of the normal force, and we use the sum of the forces in the y direction, and we use Newton's second law. And so we have the normal force plus the y component of the applied force, and then this is where that minus sign comes in from the downward pointing vector of weight. So that's why we didn't have label weight as negative 200 newtons. We are going to include that negative sign here when we sum the forces because the downward pointing vector tells us that we need a minus sign. And so substituting in all the values, we find that the normal force is equal to 161.5 newtons. So we were asked a few questions about our answers, and it asked how large is the normal force compared to the normal force in 4 and 5? And Well, it's less than. And so this highlights that the normal force isn't always going to be equal to the weight force. It's going to be dependent on what kind of other forces you have in the y direction or in the direction of the normal force. How large is the acceleration compared to the acceleration in 4? Well, the acceleration is less than. And it's different because now we have a force that's at an angle. So all of our force is not going in the x direction, but only a component of it's going in the x direction. And since force is proportional to acceleration, a smaller force is going to give you a smaller acceleration for the same mass.